And you can take that look off your face. It wasn't me that brought your Uncle Ted up. I said it wasn't me that brought One you... One of the best, salt of the earth, never lets an unkind word cross his lips. Hey, That's Jack Walker. <laughs> oh, yes, that's Jack Walker, all right. I just wish that those old cold friends of yours could hear you on the subject of my family. They'd soon change their opinion, very soon. All I said was that... Well, go on, get interrupting if you're going to. All I said was that it'd look better if that uncle of yours pushed a bit of that money of his where it'd do good. Your Ethel, for instance, she could do with a helping hand. Typical. Absolutely typical. Not a single member of your family has a penny piece to his name. But let anyone else dare to get a few pounds in the bank and it's different. Oh, it's very different. If he doesn't throw it around like confetti, he's mean, inconsiderate, probably made it all on the black market. Oh, no, I said no to about that. Oh, I should hope you didn't. Because if we're on the subject of black marketeers, we don't need to go any further than that brother of yours. Let's leave him out of it. Yes, well, judging by the clock, he's able to keep out of it himself, isn't he? One day in the year, one day in the year, excluding holidays, we get a chance to spend a few hours together. And who do we put in charge? Your Arthur. And what happens? I'll be there on time. Oh, you can rely on me. Tell Annie not to worry. Now, Annie, he's got to come for Mayfield. Hayfield Jack is not at the other end of the Trans-Siberian Railway. He's 40 minutes late. All the pleasure's gone out of it. All the anticipation. Hello. I'm not going to enjoy it, Jack. Go on, will you? Of course you are. Hey, tell us she's going to enjoy it, then. You're going to enjoy it? What? The outing. The outing? Not enjoy it? Hundreds of feet underground with the nearest pub miles away. Where's the liniment? Uh, behind the back there. Liniment. Ah, just for internal purposes use, that's all. Oh, it's going to be one of those do's, is it? She's marvellous, isn't she? She's the only publican I know who hates drinkers. When I took over this pub, Len, I did not throw away my conscience. There are places for drinking, and the Sharabong, with mixed company, is not one of them. Come on, get moving. Right, cup hold of that. Put it in the Sharabong with the mixed company, will you, Hello, oh, I'm back. And watch it, they'll have your hands off. One more. Cheer up, Annie. The forecast rain. Well, there's a pub. Well, I don't know. Hey, where's the beer? Where's the beer? He's not here. Could I have quiet, please? Quiet, please. One singer, one song. Thank you. I wonder if you'd mind just answering your name. Yes, Mrs. Yes. Caldwell. Yes. Mr. Moffat. Morning. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Tatlock. Here. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Walker. Oh, they're not here yet, love. They're waiting for the relief. Keep the party um, clean. Oh, oh hello. Uh, You're starting, uh, have you? Uh, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> well, you yeah. uh, next to someone, I'll change into the seat. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ogden. Yeah, we're here, love. Oh, Miss Ogden. Uh, present, Miss. Uh, anyone sitting here? No, I'm sorry. I'm saving it for a sailor. Oh, well, he's not coming. I've just asked him. Oh, all right. You'll do that. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Tanner, yes? Yeah. Enjoy yourself, mate. Thank you, madam. Uh, Mr. Fairclough. That's him. I haven't. Hey, take your thieving hand uh, off. Hey. Mr. Tanner. Uh, Mr. Tanner. Danny! You what? Oh, I should put his name down, love. That's all you get out of it. Oh, yes. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, Miss <laughs> Tessie <laughs> and Mr. Barlow. I'm just sitting and you? Oh, yes. And me. <laughs> hey, Arthur's here now. Get in there, Arthur! He's here. And no, 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 I said about here, and here I am. And it's taken you long enough and all. <laughs> There's a welcome for you, Annie. I, I didn't come across the road, you know. I've come from Hayfield. I know that, but that's not to the side of Trans-Siberian Railway. Eh? Hey? hey, come on. They're waiting for us out there. Now, I've jotted down one or two prices. Not that you'll sell out. We're taking most of customers' wheels. And most of the stock. Hey, she's lovely, isn't she? She gets lovelier every day. Hey, isn't she lovely? Here you are. Get out of that. Oh, right. We're on our way. Well, take care of yourself, lad. I will. Give our love to Conceptor. 
And now don't worry about Lucille. We'll look after her. Sure. Bye bye, love. Hello. Enjoy yourselves. Right, Jack. Right. Off back tonight, I believe. Yeah, across the seas to Ireland. Very nice, too. Well, it could be worse. Lucille? Fee, I didn't know that daughter of yours was here. Well, I hope she is, otherwise I get no dinner. <laughs> here she is, saved again. Hello, love. Hello. What's with me dinner, then? Ah, it's a surprise. Wait and see. Can I come? I wouldn't, not if, uh, not if I know her cooking. Well, you don't know me <laughs> cooking, do you? You've lost touch with me, have you? Aye, I suppose I have. <laughs> Bloody heck. Now, what's up? Oh, Annie, she's forgot her gloves. Oh, here they are. Oh, well, come on, let's get up to your uncle Lens. Cheers. Oh, by the way, don't drink all the stock. As if I would. <laughs> As if I would. Oh, well, he must have a move. I like how things. Oh, very good for the soul, though. Yes. <laughs> oh, we had a lovely day out at Blackpool once before you came. We left Ina behind. <laughs> very enjoyable. She came back on the lorry. <coughs> Did she? Oh, I can just picture that. <laughs> there you are, love. Oh, I can all aboard. Yes. Just a minute. Oh, dear, Mrs. Corwell, you don't want to get off, do you? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. I was just wondering. Do you think I could start the bus? Hey, could you? Huh? Could I start the bus? Oh, I don't think the driver would like no. that, you know. It's a big <laughs> union. Matter of principle, you know. Oh, it's... Uh, I don't mean to start the engine. Uh, what I really mean is... Uh, well, I'll show you. Now, are you all ready? Yeah. Right. I always wanted to do this. Wagons ho! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no thanks a lot, but I'll have one later, look. What's the matter? Hey? Oh, nothing, nothing. Is it me? Am I a worry? Yeah, it's you. You're a worry. Well, I am a bit tanta. Hey, why do your parents worry about their kids? It's natural, though. It's not. Natural means of nature. Nature doesn't look after its young, not till the 16, any road. Well, I'm a human being, not a chimpanzee. Nature lets them fend for themselves. Nature can do what it likes. If I want to get grey hairs over my daughter, I'll get grey hairs. You've got some. More of them. All right, then, clever clothes. What do you want me to do so that you won't have to worry about me? Now, look. look. You want me to grow up, right? Yes, I want you to grow up. Right, I'm grown up. Now, let's see if I can shake you the way we shoot John Willie Jones the other day. Who's John Willie Jones when he's at home? He teaches us geography and don't interrupt. What do you think of the Pakistani cyclone disaster? The what? The Pakistani cyclone disaster. What Pakistani cyclone disaster? It happened in the middle of May. There were 12,000 people killed. First I've heard of it. Yeah, hardly anybody did, and those who did have forgotten. I mean, there were only 12,000 people killed. There were other things to do, like football and drinking and smoking. It doesn't seem to matter that 12,000... Hey, 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 hey. Don't want to worry your head about things like that. Come here. You don't know what you do want, do you? You say you want me to grow up, but you don't. You want me to stay a kid. You're all the same. You're a right mixed up lot, aren't you? Come here. You know, we mature a lot faster these days. I am beginning to catch on. Now do as you're told and come here. We only want what's best for you. You know that, don't you, love? You don't always know what is best, do you? I mean, you're not making a very good job of this, are you? You're not too big to have a good eye, you know? You wouldn't dare. Uh, not now I'm grown up. You know, I think I've been better going off with your uncle then.
one there on the left. Oh, just trust you to fancy a tree, Pern. Oh. Now, if I have my way, which I never have. Oh, no, no, never. Which I never have. I'd have that one in the middle. So if you're feeling generous, eh? and you've got a bit of money that you don't know what to do with, you can buy us an ice cream. You're always after me money. Oh, yeah, you got one and all. Uh. I've got him, just where I want him. Anything I like, up to Fortnum's. <laughs> well, if man thinks he's getting away with a Fortnum ice cream, he's got another thing coming. Come on, let's be having your Paul get it. <laughs> <laughs> Could we all gather at the entrance, please? Ready for the great adventure? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Are you ready for the great adventure, my love? Well, yes, but uh, not down there. Oh, in one of them moods, are you? Come on. Hey, darling, they've got the right idea. Aye, well, they can keep it. Come on. <laughs> this gentleman will be taking us, so if we could all go through the turnstile, please. Hey, don't go down the mines, Daddy. There's plenty of coal in the shed. <laughs> Have you paid? No, it's all right. It's all right. It's all inclusive. Oh, I do wish Ina were here. The only thing she misses about the vestry is there's no cellar. And she was never seen again. <laughs> Approaching the main cabin. And when we stop, you'll be able to get out of the boat. But please do not move until I get out. Jack, right. is there a dirty mark on the top of my hat? I can't see out, love. I was sure I rubbed it against the roof. Now, come on, Mrs. Thank you. Be careful. Thank you. You know, you'd hardly credit we'd been coming downhill all the way in that boat, would you? Pardon? Coming downhill, look. Get away. Huh? We'll read that. The main cavern is 840 feet below the ground level. Now, we hadn't come that far down when we got into boat. You can't go down in a boat, especially in a tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now in the main cavern. As you can see, the miners continued digging on the far side, and it was they who built the floor on which you're now standing. At this point, we are 850 feet below the ground level. 
This does not, of course, mean we've been sailing downhill. Merely we've been penetrating deeper into the mountain. The ground has been rising above us. Downhill. How were I supposed to know that? Is it all right to smoke? Smoke as much as you like, sir. If you can afford it. If you can afford it. <laughs> He's an idiot, isn't he? <laughs> if you can afford it. <laughs> Thanks a fag loaf. Hey, you know what? It'll be better about any sense. We would have stayed at my place and let Lucille come on. Oh, I have plenty of sense. We might be on 800 feet below sea level, but I still feel safer down here. <clears throat> ah, careful. Don't strain yourself. Well, I enjoyed that. <clears throat> oh, she did live her cooked it. Yeah, my grown-up daughter. You'd like it in Ireland, love. All right, but you are coming on your holidays. Look, I've said I'll come for two weeks and then I'm going to get a job. Give one out. Look, just temporary until I pass my exam. If you pass. It's about time you had a bit more confidence in me. I'll pass. And I'll do shorthand and typing at night school. And when I'm qualified, I'll get a better job. I'll be a secretary. Take a lesson, Mr. Richard. You've got it all worked out, haven't you? Oh, well, it's what I want to do. All right, then. All the same. What? Well, we haven't had much time together, have we? You and me. I suppose it happens that way sometimes. Hi. Well, how do you get on with the walkers? Oh, they're all right. She gets a bit noted at times, you know, but I'm the all the better than you. Thank you very much. More tea. Well, oh, thanks. I've been asking the walkers about you stopping on there after you leave school. What do they say? Well, they seem quite happy about it. But don't give them any reason to complain, will you? I promise. I'll be in before three o'clock every morning. It's very interesting. Ah, you know, you don't realise places like this exist until you've seen them, do you? I've often wondered what it must be like to be a miner. Fancy digging all them years just to get here. Aye, and they only got eight pence a day and all. But mind you, it's over hundred years ago. Things was very much cheaper in London. Oh, aye, that's true. Hey, where's our room? Oh, fine, Father, you have. You only just missed her. How much were behind us? Go on, she's had a you and her own. He's not here either. Well, you don't think she's wandering around by herself, do you? They should be down here, both of them. Oh, go on. You know what you were like at that age. Aye, I do. What worries me? Oh, I want to see why we should go down. There's all this lovely country. Oh! Oh! Hey, it's wet, isn't it? Oh, it's dry enough. Oh, put me cold again. That's what they all say. <laughs> Hey. What? Mm -hmm. Go on. You like it? Have you been looking in my diary? Yeah. Oh, did you get one? Me? No, I can't write. What's you always saying things like that for? Always knocking yourself. Am I? Yeah. I suppose I am, really. It's to cover up me ignorance. I'll tell you, you're at it again. Ignorant. You're one of the smartest girls I've ever met. Oh, go on, tell me more. Do you want me to? Yes. Tell me what you see in me. Well, um, you're very uh, attractive. Very sensible. And I like being with you more than anybody I've ever met. That's good, that's a good thing. That's good. Come on, we're talking. Oh. You know, David, I don't know what it is about me, but well, with other fellas. Oh, I hello. You know me, I'm all talk. Mm. You know, with other fellas, I always seem to go out of my way to scare them off. But well, you don't scare me. I know, well, that's what makes. That's what makes it different. David, was there a lot of other girls in London? Why, oh, there's one or two. I can't even remember what they look like. It's like a cathedral, isn't it? Uh, yeah. No quiet nor inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. What did he say it was? 
Well, he said it was a bottomless pit, but it can't be. Oh, but if he said it was, Dennis... Oh, it's just a name they call it. You know, if it were a bottomless pit, it'd go right down to Australia, wouldn't it? Of course it would. Oh, you are clever, Dennis. Just a minute, stand still. Keep your well, dead What's up? I've dropped my ear in somewhere. I was standing about here, wasn't I? Well, you near enough, yeah? Oh, allow me. Oh, thank goodness for that. You know, Mother, you'll have to be more careful in future. You could have dropped this in the bottomless pit, couldn't you? Hey. Well, you great big soft lump. Well, it just fell out of me, hand, Mother. You great Mother, it just dropped out. Be reasonable, won't you? You said you big fat hand. Well, I'll say this for Elsie Tanner. If she wants a row, she'll have a row no matter where it is. Well, I hope she doesn't cause an avalanche. I have heard that how shouting in places like this can cause an avalanche. Oh, oh, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, could we could we have you back in the boat now, please? If you'd let me get in first. I know, no, don't let him. I think it's a good thing we're going now. I think so, too, mm. yes. Oh, it's time hey, look, it's your coat taking us down. I mean, I'll stop on me. I'll take you. There's some things that you never forget. I'll never forget today. Neither will I. Way up the mine is a coming up. Oh. oh. Don't look like that, love. Everything's got to come to an end sometime. Oh. Oh. Where should we go to eat our sandwiches? Oh, I'll find somewhere nice. You lead now, Father. Well, I, I, I enjoyed that. Oh, it was very interesting. Especially coming back uphill. You what? That ain't we weren't going uphill. It went round that was slipping away from us. Oh, I know. Yeah. That's what I told you. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. That was most enjoyable. Most enjoyable. Yes. 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 Yeah, well, you feel like you've got the pool, though. I'm dying for one. Come on. Right. Oh. There she is. Oh. Where have you been? Uh, to get me green and back. Oh, it ain't half in a rush and half. You were? Don't worry, Dad. Try not to think of it as losing a daughter. Try to think of it as somebody else to borrow from. <coughs> Would you like one of mine? Oh, yes, thanks. Uh, what are they? Chicken. Oh, <laughs> well, if you don't mind. <laughs> Yeah. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean when you're finished. Oh. I just like sitting listening to you. Well, there must be more interesting fellas. Oh, there aren't. There aren't any other lads like you, Dennis. They're only interested in drinking and motorbikes. You think of getting on in the world, making something of yourself. Yeah, I admit I've done a lot of the thinking about that. <laughs> It's very nice here. Oh, it's very true. But there are places you get tired of in a day. Sometimes it takes a week. It all depends what type you are, you know. Me, I'm a city type myself. I like noise and lights and people. You know, the, the throbbing pulse of life. It's not really like that in Coronation Street, though, is it? No, it, but it's near the hub of things, you know, a sort of halfway house between... The throbbing pulse. Yeah, the throbbing pulse of the city and the peaceful beauty of the countryside. Yes, I must admit, it's nice to relax. <laughs> Don't you like me doing that? Oh, you know, it's just that I'm a bit sensitive. Yeah. I won't do it then. Yes, we could be millions of miles away. Voyagers in space. Explorers beyond the realms of time. Dennis! Sandra! We're, we're off! We're not, though. Oh, it's not too bad, really. Look, all I want to do is have a Oh, just where do you think you've been? Don't be personal. Oh, don't tell lies. That's that way. Get in. There you are, 
Thanks very much. So you're off at last, eh? Yeah, I mustn't miss that night boat. Should be a good crossing. I'm all right myself, as long as I'm in bar. Aye. <laughs> right, we're off. Going down to the station with your dad, are you? Yeah, I better see he gets the right train. Well, come on, let's be having it. Hey, uh, will you tell Auntie Annie it won't be so long? Oh, she won't be home yet, though. If I know Annie, she'll be making a night of it. <laughs> and by the looks of it, she's not the only one. Give us a kiss. Ask Miss Nugent. I can do that, I know. Mm -hmm. Hey. Got, got something for you. Oh, no, I couldn't eat another chocolate. It's not a chocolate. <coughs> I was only kidding, you know. Well, I'm not. What do you mean? Well, uh, depends which finger you put it on. Not that I'm kidding or not. Do you mean it's like an um, engagement ring? Well, uh, not exactly. There'll be a better one. Is this a down payment? <laughs> if you love it. Oh, I will. Yes, I will. Oh, yes, it's lovely, I accept. Mm, trust Irma running through to farm. Even got a fella on the never never. <laughs> well, you better keep up the payments. I oh, don't know. No, they'll see it. I don't think it matters, does it? Just this once. All right, no, not just this once. 